What's up guys, Hunter here from HMG Baseball. Today's the third video of my, fourth video of my new channel, I'm sorry. And today is the full blown on review of this glove. Um, I'm going to show you guys some updates on break-in and the pocket. So we're going to start off with the pocket of this glove, which is huge. So, as you guys know, um, I did the hot water treatment. Or, I don't think I told you guys that. Oh, let me sit you guys down. I did the hot water treatment on this glove, and this glove absolutely swallows a baseball. And I go over here. Get the softball. Put it in the glove. Okay. Look at this. It swallows a softball. And it's like 11 and... 0.75 inch, like seriously, I I think I really overdid the pocket on this glove, but I really like a deep pocket, and I think I'm just going to get an outfield glove soon, I'm not going to use this for outfield, definitely not, uh, it's too good of a glove, I don't really like high quality gloves for outfield, because I don't play it really much at all, so yeah, so the update on this glove, it's getting there on break in, it claps and everything like that, Still got it flared and all that stuff. It looks pretty good. Um, there's this crease in the pocket. But I'm pounding that out with my mallet. So I'm just going to pound it really quick just to get it out for the video. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I just wanted to get it out. Um... It's a pretty clean glove, to be honest. It looks really good on its side. And I looked it up on the internet, and this glove retails for $60. Which is insane, because it's a really good glove for $60. Like, a really, really good glove. Like, I'd play $160 for this glove, in my opinion. Um, such underrated gloves. Um... Really underrated gloves. Louis Slugger actually makes some really good gloves, but people don't give them enough. People don't give them enough credit for what they do, because some of their gloves are actually really nice. Um, but yeah. So I just want to give you guys an update on this glove. So let's start off with the name. So sorry, the lighting's really bad, and my camera's not focusing. So this glove is a DY14 BK. It's 11 and 3 fourths inches. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. I normally make my videos at night because I like to put my camera on flash. Well, my phone. I use my phone to record, but... Uh, this glove is Dynasty Series. Professional pattern. It has a big Louisville Slugger in there. And it has also this. Uh, it's like a stamp, if you can't see that. It says Java Natural. Steelers <laughs> in the corner. Uh, I go to the pinky in this glove. Um, it has a flare. And it's getting there on break-in process. I'm going to go out and play with it after this video. Uh, play around with it. Uh, but yeah. So I'm getting really used to it. And I love the feel of it. So this glove is all Dynasty Black. Uh, it's, like, it's like a matte black kind of. But it, it looks like a... It looks like navy on camera, but it's definitely not. Um, this glove has all tan laces. Camel, whatever you want to call it. No, they're not camel. Uh, I don't know what you'd call them, but yeah. So this glove, I'm working on stretching out the... I mean, tightening the fingers. And so I've already done a couple of the fingers. So I don't like to look like this. I tightened this one. I got the lace, pulled it out, and then let me stretch it for you guys. So this is it stretched out. Stretched. Um, it's obviously way looser, and it doesn't look that bad stretched. Um, it's not bad lace either. Like if you see, hold on. I'm gonna try to do this. If I stretch it. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. I can stretch it. I'm not stretching as hard as I can because I only have one hand to do this. So it's kind of hard, but you know, yeah. So I'm gonna probably be getting a camera, 
like kind of like a tripod that way I'll be able to record videos a lot easier and I can use both of my hands in the videos um but yeah so tomorrow is either the day in my life um a glove update or something um or uh, what's in my bag I don't know I'm just gonna throw out some videos for you guys <laughs> Or maybe, like, stories or something. I don't know. We'll see. So this glove, like I said, is all Dynasty Black. It has tan laces. As you can see. Um, this glove is... A Louisville Slugger. Louisville Slugger, obviously. The logos. This one is, like, the dark tan or whatever. It's darker than the laces and stuff. A little bit darker. Um, and then the logo is... Um, Dynasty Black under, and then the regular, I guess you could call it gold, I guess, gold Louisville Slugger logo, and then the black gold Louisville Slugger logo, and then for this we have, um, I mean, let's start off with stitching, for, for all the stitching, it's like a, I'd say it's pretty much the same as the laces, I think it's a tan, yeah, that looks kind of, it looks really white on the camera, but it's definitely not in person. Um, this glove is, uh, it has black lining, and I think it has, I forget what this is. I think it's deer tan cowhide. Not 100% sure, though. Um... But, yeah, um, the laces are actually holding up pretty good. They're not bad, bad laces, but they're not amazing laces either. Um, right now I'm working on just finishing breaking it in and taking grounders with it. Um, but I'm not, but I'm pretty confident that I'll be using it. Um, so this is two in the pinky baseball. Easily swallows it. Two in the pinky softball. Sorry, let me push it back in the pocket. Softball. Okay. And then traditional. Traditional baseball. Swallows it. I don't think it swallows the softball traditional, but we can try. Softball. Nope. But it's still a really good glove. Here's traditional. Here's pinky. I go to the pinky. One is more broken in, two it just feels better. Um, but yeah, this glove has a black, the Dynasty Black H web, um, and it has tan welting on the fingers. Um, that's pretty much it for the glove. I mean, there's not too much detail, but I just love the look of the glove and the feeling. Um, and it's actually really good quality for the price, extremely good quality for the price. And I love the H-Web on it, it looks really good, and it's perfect for my positions. And I love that I got it on sale. So, yeah. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go outside, probably right after this video, like I said. Take some grounders with it, um, maybe I'll throw it in the next video with my other glove or something or just put it in the background just for you guys to look at so I might do an update on my A2000 but I have no clue yet um, but I'm doing what's in my bag soon I might do that on um, my first practice day maybe because all just all my stuff will be packed up but that won't be for a little while though so I don't know we'll, we'll see um but yeah and I've been getting a lot of comments or mostly my friends, um, saying that I say, um, a lot in my videos, and I do, I admit that I do a lot, but, you know, that's how I make my videos, and that's how I like to do it, so I can do whatever I want to, so you guys can't say what I need to do in my videos, because you're not making them, it's only me, so I can say whatever I want to say, um, but I do admit I do say, um, a lot in my videos, um, I probably shouldn't as much, but, yeah, so, sorry about that, but if that bothers you, then, you know, I'm sorry, but you have to deal with it. So, yeah, so, tell your friends about my channel. Um, go follow my Instagram, HMG Baseball, um, and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite color. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So thank you guys for watching. Um, have a nice day, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.